Hey guys, Kyle Allen here and today I want to talk to you about creating a funnel inside of your business. This is hands down one of the biggest things that everyone needs to do. It doesn't matter whoever you are, you need to have a funnel and you need to get people inside this funnel so that way it can feed your sales pipeline. Marketing and sales go hand in hand and when you collaborate the two, you will absolutely dominate whatever space and industry that you're in. So that's why I wanted to bring to you guys this video about funnels and how they can effectively start to grow your business. You might be watching this video and going, Kyle, what the hell is a funnel? And I want to tell you what a funnel is. So essentially what it is, is you have, you know, this big influence of people that, you know, might be aware about who you are and what you do, right? But how aware, how aware are they, right? What is their level of awareness? How many times are they seeing you? What's the frequency? You know, these are questions that you need to start asking yourself to be able to know that, you know, I'm getting in front of the right people, right? I'm getting the right people aware about who I am, what I do, and then I'm also getting them to be aware of the action steps that they take next to go down to my second layer of my funnel, right? This is maybe a free offer that I have. This is to sign up for, you know, a, a lesson or a seminar or a class or something that I'm teaching. This is, you know, something that I'm offering out to my audience. This could even be something that's paid, right? If you guys have like a paid consultation, get people in there. You know, the second thing is, you know, get them to, you know, actually book up an appointment with you, right? So even after you've generated this lead that is aware of your services and actually has taken action inside of your funnel, the next step that most people are not taking is staying aware, staying aware that they still need to continue the process because people do phase out and through the, throughout the stages of this funnel. So what you need to do is always keep them aware about what it is, whether that's text message marketing, email marketing, Facebook ads again, Google ads, YouTube, video content on LinkedIn, you, Instagram ads, it doesn't matter whatever it happens to be, you need to make sure that they're still aware of your process and who you are. It, you gotta be absolutely just, you know, pedal to the metal on this kind of stuff. Follow up is key with everything inside of this funnel. And that's why, you know, it, when you bring sales and marketing together, you can use some of the marketing stuff as follow up equipment to start to leverage and start to dig up more of your prospects and get them closer to that end result, which we want is the sale, right? So, you know, throughout this process, the funnel, you know, we get them to take action and book up. But the biggest thing, this is where most entrepreneurs and business owners or even just salespeople alone forget about the follow up after the sale is done, right? So you have whatever that first sale is that happens that triggers an event that, you know, they are now a customer. This is one of the biggest things, you know, you have a customer, they are interested in whatever your product or service is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna then take that customer and we're gonna start to then sell them other things because if they bought once, they're gonna buy again and they're gonna hopefully buy again and again and again. Buyers are buyers and buyers are buyers, right? This is an old saying that goes out there that you guys need to be reselling to these people and the best way to do that is through remarketing efforts, right? Retargeting them, sending them out an email blast about a new product or a new promotion that you guys have or reaching out to them to stay up to date on whatever's happening in your prospect's life, right? How important is that to know where they're at inside their business spaces and cycles and how you can effectively start to, you know, pitch the right opportunities and information to them when you see its best fit too as well. So, you know, having that personalization and that touch is super important because you have a pulse on your customer. And when you have a pulse on your customer, anything is possible, right? So I want to give you guys some, you know, effective ways on, you know, how to start to bring awareness to that top layer of your funnel, because this is where most people struggle at, right? Everyone usually has their sales processes down. They have the back end of the funnel, right? But they don't have this, you know, the, the net that catches all of the people at first to get them in there. And that's what I want to share out with you guys is some ways and strategies on how to bring that top level of awareness to these people. So I've kind of mentioned a couple of them through this, but I'm going to go in depth and a little bit more in depth on each and every single one of these. So one of the best ways that I love is Facebook ads. So Facebook ads has gotten me in front of over a million people without having to spend a million dollars, which is probably the best thing in the world, right? To get in front of as many people as I have for how old I am without having to spend, you know, more than probably, I've probably having over spent probably less than $7,000 on Facebook so far on my own business, right? And we've reached over a million people with doing that. And one of the best things that I know is that I'm bringing a bunch of awareness for a very inexpensive cost, right? And this is over multiple years of people and stuff like that. That's only including the paid advertisements that we have, not including all of the organic impressions that we make every single day with our content. You know, so that's one of the things and that's just one platform, right? Then, you know, I go over to Instagram and I start using Instagram ads and I start using Instagram posts, you know, what do I post maybe over on Instagram and Facebook, right? These are things that, you know, are value to your audience, right? Things that people want to know more about. 
Then you also go into the fact of, you know, starting to share out stuff that's, you know, your personal journey, getting people to know who you are. People want to relate to people. They buy things from people they know, like, and trust. These are the three rules of business. If they know you, they can buy from you. If they trust you, they'll actually buy from you again and again and again, and they'll refer you out business too. So, you know, everything is such a compounding effect in this. So, you know, by having all of this content out there on social media, on Facebook and Instagram, you're able to really start to grow your business and dramatically by just getting people aware about who you are and how you can help them out you know however many referrals you get think about how you can exponentially grow that just by using social media to do that alone so you know the, the next thing that I would recommend is starting to create content video content you know one of the things that I really struggled with when I was first starting my business and putting out open house signs for real estate agents and professionals was getting in front of the right audience at the right time right I would try to door knock I'd try to cold call I would try to do anything I possibly can, you know, to drop in and basically, you know, get my customer to, to buy something from me. And I figured out, you know, it's hard. They're busy. They're all over the place. But when I could get them was on their downtime, was when they were on their couch watching, you know, YouTube videos, when they were watching Facebook videos, when they were watching videos on how to improve their business, right? These were different ways and strategies that I was able to get in front of them. So I used video content to do that. You know, because I looked at it, I was like, you know, I'm best when I'm talking to someone, right? Whether that's in the phone, whether that's on a camera, whether that's in person, I'm best when I talk to someone. So I know my own strength, right? If you're not best at talking with people, you're best at typing out emails or text messages to close business. Obviously, go a different route and use blogs, right? Instead of a vlog, a uh, vlog is video, uh, you know, log, right? And then a blog is a, a you know, a, a document, right? Um, so, you know, use a vlog instead and get in front of more more people using video content. This is an easy way to tell about whatever your message is and stuff like that. So, you know, creating that, it also allows people to get to know you a little bit better, right? Think about it. You're watching this video right now and you're sitting, you know, essentially across, across from me, right? Where my camera is sitting right now and you're getting and, and interacting with me and I'm interacting with you. And that's the best part about video is I'm able to really have that conversation and then, you know, hopefully spark up something else to you know, have us on a phone call, have us meet in person or whatever the situation might be that, you know, I'm bringing awareness to who I am and what I'm doing by helping you out with, you know, giving out these videos and stuff like that. So, you know, that's one of my favorite tools to use. So hopefully you guys, you know, start to encompass all of this stuff into, you know, creating that awareness and then dropping them into funnels. So don't be afraid to plug yourself, right? You know, like if you guys want to learn more about how to build these funnels, right? Visit my website and book up a 30 minute consultation with me at Kyle Allen, A-L-L-E-N dot U-S slash book, B-O-O-K. <laughs> Almost messed that one up, right? So, you know, this is a really easy way and, and always remember to go throughout your video, especially when you're doing a long form content, you know, sharing out that good content telling them about what you do and how you can help them out and then piecing it all together so that way they can start to go inside your funnel and start to eventually do some business with you. So, you know, really combining sales and marketing and all of this digital space might be confusing for you guys. So if it is at all, I promise you, I want to help you guys out on this free strategy call. It's not just a bullshit sales call. It's literally going to be factual ways. I'm going to do my research, my homework beforehand. We get on the call and I'm going to go through and go step by step on things that I actively see that you can improve on and talk to you and see, you know, what, what was the motivation behind why you guys were doing this? Were you guys not doing anything at all? What, what's going on inside your business? You know, so that way you can walk away with literally factual information and stuff that you can actively do to grow your business, whether you do it yourself or you hire us to do it. It doesn't matter to me. I want you guys to grow your business. So if you guys found this video in a good place, all I ask is that you guys share it with one other person. You know, that's my whole goal is to get in front and help as many people as possible because this amazing community has given me so much. I'm trying to give back and help out more people. So the other thing is if you guys like this video, make sure to hit and smash that like button below and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Channel, right? We're posting out a ton of content and we want you guys to get in front of this content first so that way you can actually start to use it. You know, all of these videos are going to be informative. They're going to be videos on how you can start to really grow your business. These are ways and strategies that I'm actively using inside my own business and also helping other people do as well. So if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment too as well if you guys feel like you need to, and then also share it out with one other person. That's all I ask and hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.